Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I'm Sarah. And if you like home style recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. And tonight I'm continuing with my air fryer series for the hot summer months. And tonight I'm going to be making a dessert in the air fryer. And it only has three ingredients, four if you add the chocolate chips, and it is going to be peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. So come along with me and let's get started. So you are going to want to preheat your air fryer. So let me show you what you're going to need for the recipe. I have a cup of creamy natural peanut butter here. I'm going to be putting in two thirds of a cup of granulated natural sweetener. This happens to be allulose, but you can use whatever sweetener that you can find or that does well with your blood sugar. I'm also going to be using a single egg and I'm going to be putting in about a quarter of a cup of sugar-free chocolate chips. I'm using dark chocolate here. These are optional. You could just make regular peanut butter cookies if you preferred, but I wanted to add a bit of chocolate to ours. I'm also going to be using a parchment liner in my air fryer. This is optional. I've done it without the parchment paper, but sometimes because of the chocolate chips, there's gonna be a bit of melting. If you were not using chocolate chips, then you could just easily use something just the inside of your air fryer but I do like the parchment. So I'm going to be using a hand mixer just because it's really quick to do it that way but you wouldn't have to have a hand mixer if you don't want to use one or if you don't have one uh, because it only has a couple of ingredients but I'm going to be using one and I'm just going to simply add both the granulated sweetener and the egg. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put the chocolate chips in just by hand and just stir them in. You could use a different flavor of chip in this if you wanted. You could use milk or you could use white. They also, um, some brands make sugar-free peanut butter chips, so that would also be good here. My mom actually likes uh, butterscotch chips with her peanut butter cookies, so the sky's the limit. All right, so I have got our chips mixed in to our batter. <clears throat> So for me personally, I like using a cookie scoop, cookie baller for making my cookies because that keeps them all about the same size. And using this cookie baller, mine is about a tablespoon and a half, makes about 12, a little bit more than 12 cookies. So I like that it creates a smaller cookie. They're all the same size and they all cook a little bit more evenly. So that's what I'm going to use. Now, I do have my parchment liner here, as we, and we discussed that in the ingredients. Now, you don't want to preheat your air fryer with your parchment liner in there because it can catch fire. So definitely preheat your air fryer before you place your parchment in there, and then place your parchment in before you put your cookie dough inside. Okay, so this has already been preheated, so it is a bit warm, so you do want to be careful with that. So I'm just going to take my cookie baller and make my little cookies. Now these are not really going to spread, so you do want to push them down a bit. If you're going to make traditional peanut butter cookies with no chips, you could of course make the hash marks with the fork if you wanted for traditional peanut butter cookies. So you want your cookies to be about an inch or so apart. And these are going to cook at 325 for about seven minutes, so it's not going to take very long. And then you're going to need to leave your cookie inside on the parchment liner. I mean, we'll remove the tray, but you're not going to want to remove them for about two to three minutes because they will be very soft. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my dough in here and then we'll be ready to put these in. Okay. 
Okay, there they are. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in at 325 for seven minutes. My air fryer apparently doesn't have a 325, so I guess it's going to be 330. So they are done and they're nice and golden brown and as I said before this one is bent over but as I said before you're gonna want to leave these to cool for about two to three minutes before you try and take them out of the air fryer Okay, here they are, the air fryer peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. And we've got CJ to taste them for us. Hi. Hi. All right, let's see how they taste. Hmm, this is still soft. It's warm, too. Yeah. These are good. For something so simple as far as the amount of ingredients, they're really a nice treat. I still don't understand how come, how they're... Are they moist? I don't get that. But like you said, it must be from the peanut butter. Yeah. Because you didn't put any like oil or nope. mm -mm. anything in it. So I don't understand that. But they're good. Um, I like the allulose because it's not as sweet. Mm -hmm. I think the last time you made these not in the air fryer, they felt kind of sweet to me. So yeah, they're really, they're really good. I think the sweetness is just right. And we've, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to having these. Good. So thanks for making them. Bye-bye.